The purpose of this uh, screencast is to show how to create a cross-tabulation or contingency table. So we have some interesting information on restaurants, how much they charged, and how the people rated them. So we're going to build up a table of meal price and quality rating using pivot table. So go to insert and then pivot table is here and select the table or range. Now I just want uh, meal price and quality rating so all of those go in there. I'm going to ignore the restaurant ID number because that's not interesting data to me. Use the existing worksheet, go OK. Now here um, I, I've got the two variables that I indicated I want which is the quality rating and the meal price. So I want to put quality rating on the column and meal price on the rows and that should have started to build right up at the top somewhere. And here we have the answer. Quality rating across and then the meal price. I could change it round. Let's do that because we can drag and drop these things. So meal price on the row and then quality rating as a column. It becomes very messy. So I'm going to stick with meal price as as on the uh, on the columns and quality rating on the row so this would help me so uh, for probability so let's say that I wanted to uh, pay only thirteen dollars so uh, we're only looking at that so there are a hundred and seventeen restaurants which charge a hundred and seven uh, thirteen dollars so the probability of ending up with a very good meal if I paid only uh, $13 would be equals 65 over 117. So I've got a 55% chance of getting a good meal if I pay only $13. Thank you.